Alrighty, in this section of 70-740 certification prep, we are going to talk about installing Windows Server 2016. Installing Windows Server 2016 can be done in two different methods. Uh, the first one is to do with a uh, Windows Server with GUI or graphical user interface. This is the interface that you're used to in most desktop clients. And the second option is installing with Windows Server Core, which provides us with a command line interface. It's a lot smaller install base, a little bit faster on some of the things that it's doing because it doesn't have the desktop interface that we're used to and therefore is sometimes preferred in some environments. In order to install these, we'll go ahead and jump over to a machine here. And here we have our first Windows Server. And in this case, we are going to simply start off with the install. We've put in the ISO, we booted up the machine, and we have here just our basic options for language to install, English or whatever other language you might have, uh, time and currency, as well as keyboard format, keyboard layout. Uh, once these are selected appropriately, go ahead and click Next. Here we have the option down at the bottom, repair your computer. There's some cases where you'll need to reboot your machine in order to get it up and running and repaired. And so this provides you with some repair options. Otherwise, if we're doing a fresh install, go ahead and click install now. And here we have some of the options for our install process. Uh, I am doing an evaluation version of the ISO, so that's why we're seeing evaluation at the end of every single one of these lines here. Uh, we have the standard edition versus the data center edition. Uh, there are some licensing differences as well as some improvements or some features that come along in the data center edition that aren't available in the standard. In this case, however, we'll stay with the standard just because there isn't a need for the specific purposes of the data center. And in this case, I now have two options. I have standard and then I have standard with desktop experience. And I see down here it says this is per useful when a GUI is required graphical user interface. And so if I want to install a system where the user interface is what I'm familiar with, with the start button and a desktop in order to click on and a web browser and so on. This is the option I would choose. So I'm going to go ahead and click with that selected. I'm going to go ahead and click next. It pops up the end user license agreement. And I always suggest for people to read through this at least once to have a basic idea of what you're accepting. Go ahead and check the accept box and click next. Uh, this section always seems to confuse people because it is written a little confusingly. Uh, which type of installation do we want? Do we want an upgrade or do we want a custom install? Well, if you're upgrading an existing operating system that's already there, then you would choose upgrade. If you're not upgrading an operating system that's already there, if you're erasing the operating system that's there, or you're doing a brand new fresh install, then you want to choose custom. Then asks, where do we want to install Windows? Now this particular virtual machine previously had an operating system on it that I want to delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select each and every single one of these partitions and then click delete. until I simply have my drive zero with unallocated space. Uh, if you're working on a more complex environment, you may have some other space that you want to collect, uh, such as drive one or drive two or a specific partition on there, uh, in which case you can select those as well. Uh, since this is a basic install, I'm just gonna highlight that one and then click next.
Alrighty, and now with the power of video editing, we have zoomed past the install process and the system comes up and begins asking us to set the password for our administrator account. So I'll go ahead and type in a super secret password and click finish. The install finalizes. We come up to the login prompt, control alt delete to get to the prompt. Type in our super secret password and there we go. We are now onto a fully installed Windows Server 2016 system. So that is the graphical user interface install. If we wanted to do a GUI install, I'm sorry, a non-GUI install, one with server core, we then come back to another Windows server here. Again, back at the same place, we just booted up this system. We had put in the, the CD or DVD and choose our language and click next. Choose that we want to install now. In this case, we're going to go ahead and choose the simple standard edition, not the standard with evaluate or with desktop experience, but just the standard edition. Go ahead and read through the EULA. Custom install. Again, I'm going to delete the partitions that were already there. And click next for the install process to begin. Alrighty, and with the install zoomed right along, uh, if you paid close attention, the install process actually ran significantly faster this time. Uh, now we're prompted with this command line window that says the administrators, or sorry, the user's password must be changed before signing in. So we say okay. We enter in our super secret password. And where did I just put my mouse? And it goes in, change the password, and this time it logs us straight in and it gives us a command prompt for our install process. And there you go, that is your super quick install, Windows install process uh, for getting Windows up and running.